Dennis, see you then. Meanwhile, NASA just releasing the first photos here of its new satellite launched to track the impacts of climate change. The satellite detects thermal radiation. It captures high resolution shots of infrared light. That information will then give researchers more accurate readings on global surface temperatures. Meanwhile, nowhere is the impact of climate change and sea level rise felt more acutely than in our coastal communities here in Tampa Bay. St. Petersburg now essentially ground Round zero. Back in June, during our climate change special, I spotlighted exactly how the streets in Paso Grill these days are already routinely flooding on sunny days with no rain during high tide. And today I spoke with St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman, who just got back from that UN summit in Scotland, where world leaders entered into brand new agreements to cut down on carbon emissions and at least try to move the needle forward on the climate challenges that will likely define this century. What did you learn uh, in talking to leaders, uh, both on the local level and on the national level from all over the world during this summit? You know, I left the conference uh, optimistic that the actions that the protesters would like to see, that cities around the world would like to see um, taken by our national leaders, that, that, those, that there, some of those actions are actually going to take place. Yeah, Mayor, the frustration has been with these summits uh, that it is all talk and no action and that even the agreements themselves are voluntary and they don't have any real teeth and the commitments are, you know, on a honor basis and, and there's really no power to uh, get everyone on board to actually hit the marks when it comes to measuring success for reducing, uh, uh, you know, carbon emissions. Give me the nitty gritty details when it comes to real action points that came out of this that can be enforced uh, on some level and can actually lead to progress. Um, one of the announcements that was made at uh, the summit was uh, something called the city's race to zero. Um, it was announced at the conference that more than a thousand cities around the world have signed on to this commitment. And if you if you look at the city's race to zero website, you'll see some very specifics of what the expectations are if you're going to sign on to this. And it's not just you know these lofty goals, but it's it's actual tangible actions that you need to take. Let's bring it home to Tampa Bay and specifically your city, St. Petersburg. What are some of the things yeah. that you're looking to do, tangible things, as you say, uh, that can be done now and in the near future? Yeah, so one of the things that we've been doing is we're looking at all of our existing buildings and uh, any building that we're looking at uh, constructing uh, and saying, okay, what can we do to make it more energy efficient and what can we do to make it net zero? Another thing that we're looking at uh, doing is we have a green fleets policy. And so we're looking at converting over our our vehicles to hybrid and, and ultimately to EV. Uh, and then we're looking at uh, some of our zoning and our, and our codes on construction and saying, what can we do uh, to, uh, to encourage the private sector and to, to require the private sector to start building these technologies into their new developments? So, Mayor, I would imagine half of you is, uh, is sad uh, about the, your term coming to an end, and maybe uh, another part of you is uh, looking to take a break. So after you go off to the Caribbean for a few days, uh, <laughs> what's your next gig? Where are we going to see you again? Yeah, uh, truthfully, I, ha I have not made any uh, final decisions yet on, on what my uh, life uh, it will be like after being mayor and what that next chapter will look like. I'm certainly hoping that I can find something um, that, that I can continue to contribute back to the community. The people of St. Petersburg are, it's a special community uh, and it has been uh, the greatest honor of my life to, to, to do this job for the last eight years. And even though Mayor Rick Kreisman's term is up in January, Mayor-elect Ken Welch fully supports the goals that Kreisman has set forward for the city, which includes making the city 100% renewable by the year 2035 and reducing the city's carbon footprint by 80% by the year 2050.